Good day, Talks. My name is Kaden Mazokere. I'm the author and publisher of the Distinction Bound Student Textbooks, and uh, welcome to 1.1 Under Dynamics of Imperfect Markets. So it says here, yeah, study the graph below and answer the questions that follow. As we study the graph, we see this is a kink demand curve, and there's only one market structure with kink demand curves, and that is uh, oligopoly. <clears throat> and uh, the other thing we see here is that uh, the best price is 50 rand and the quantity will be uh, 50 rand, uh, 50 units, sorry. And we know that because the best price for an oligopoly is where its demand curve kinks. Okay, so we see here the demand curve kinks at point B. And um, so there we see that uh, that will be the best price. And uh, if this oligopolist would increase the price, uh, the demand curve at a higher price from where it kinks is highly elastic. So a small change in uh, price will cause a huge drop in quantity demanded. Like look here, price goes up from 50 to 60 and uh, quantity drops from 50 to 20. If the margin was the same, if let's say it was unitary somewhere there, uh, a, a 10 rand increase would cause a 10, uh, you know, uh, units drop uh, that would be equal. And if this 10 causes a 2, it happens if it was like this one here, where <clears throat> it's, uh, what can I say, inelastic or relatively inelastic. Uh, this shows that oligopolies should not focus on price competition. They should focus on non-price competition where they do other ways of uh, trying to gain market share. All right, so with that in mind, let's go to the questions. Uh, the first question is, uh, to which market structure is the king demand curve related? And we answered that already. That will be oligopoly. Number two, what is the output level in this graph above? Uh, I mentioned the output already. It'll be this one here, 50 units. So we write 50 units or just 50. Then uh, what would the effect be? Okay, so this one requires some calculations. What would the effect be to total revenue? And take note on to effect to what total revenue. So tell us if total revenue is going to increase or decrease and by how much if the oligopolist increased his price from 50 rand to 60 rand and show calculations so clearly we are asked to show calculations now nowadays you wouldn't find the sequencing like this one one four four and it'll be one one two two four so this kind of a question can still be assessed but it will be the last question of uh, this data response and it will be four marks. Okay. So the good thing about this kind of um, uh, practice is that it exposes us to possible four mark questions. Uh, just know that these and this can now never be on one data response because we cannot, we cannot have two four mark questions in one data response question. They will make this one's two, two. Okay. But the nature of this one, let's just answer. So if the price goes up from 50 to 60 at that, okay, let's find what is total revenue before it goes up. So 50 times 50, that's what 2,500. And then, so if they increase it to 60 and 20, that's easy. That'll be 1,200. So uh, total revenue would decrease by the difference 2,500 minus 1.2, that's what 1.3. Okay, so the answer will be total revenue will decrease from 2,500 to 1,200. So that means it decreases by 1,300 rands. So total revenue will decline by 1,200. And your calculation is just the way I said it. Then give advice to the oligopolist on how to increase his market share in this uh, particular industry. So, well, I answered this one. Uh, since you cannot increase price because, well, a higher price will be faced by a highly elastic demand curve, you are going to lose a lot of uh, customers 
so for you to gain market share uh, for you to gain subscribers because well this oligopolist uh, one example would be uh, network service providers like mtn celsi vodacom telcom well so advice that you'd give to say celsi in this case instead of them increasing price uh rather they should do non-price competition so they can do door-to-door -door deliveries they can uh, extend their operating hours they can do branding anything that you can think of which is non-price competition well we're going to see a couple of examples if i uh project it so what mark which market structure is this we said it's oligopoly correct then what is the output that's 50 or 50 units then what would the effect be yes we said total revenue is going to decline by 1300 because that's the difference between the initial and the one that would be if the price was to go up then the last question then says uh give advice or advise the oligopolist on how he can increase his market share well non-price measures to attract customers increase their market share yeah build brand loyalty uh product recognition and product differentiation advertising and marketing this can work then uh, examples could be extending shopping hours or doing business after hours uh, or yeah doing business over the internet even we can say over the weekend even on sundays people will subscribe to you because maybe some people work longer like they work monday to saturday and the only time they are free is sunday and if there is uh, a bank maybe that is still that is that opens on sunday until say five o'clock whatever the case is that person would say i'd want to bank with this bank because by the time i'm free they are still open something like that now <clears throat> go to shopping malls like mainland mall you'll find out that they are open for you know quite a lo long time uh you can still go right now right now when i'm doing this it's uh six o'clock you can still go to a bank in mainland am i right or do i they close at three no not three okay offering additional services loyalty rewards for customers we see this quite open, often, uh, petrol stations, just think about it. Because, yeah, I'm just thinking about oligopolies. Ne? Uh, you go there, they say, do you have a clicks card? Do you have a discam card? Something like that. Door-to-door -door deliveries. Yes, you are busy. So they will come and deliver the cell phone that you bought from them. Uh, well, something like that. So you end up buying from Celsi because they'll come and deliver the phone that you want at your house. Well, I think this is clear and uh, we've come to the end of this particular uh, video. Thank you. Like, subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. God bless.